What will be at stake will not just be cool products, but whether liberal democracy survives, whether the CCP survives, what the world order for the next century will be. You might be thinking, who is this guy and why is he talking about the world order? This is Leopold Aschenbrenner, a leading mind in artificial intelligence. In his groundbreaking report, Situational Awareness, he predicts that by 2027, AI will surpass the brightest human minds. But you've heard this all before. Why is it any different this time? Well, AI has gone from mixing up dogs and cupcakes to people predicting the end state of AI, artificial general intelligence, in just a few short years. And it isn't just me that found this extremely interesting. The podcast editor actually quit his job during the edit of this conversation. So let's see if the same thing happens for us because in this video, we'll try to understand the reach and impact of AGI and how it can transform the world in just a few short years. Before I tell you about what Leopold has said, just who is Leopold Aschenbrenner? And why should you care about anything he has to say? I mean, the guy looks like a teenager. Born in Germany, he showed an early passion for technology and academics, which led him to pursue higher education in the United States. Aschenbrenner graduated as valedictorian from Columbia University at the age of 19, where he studied mathematics, statistics, and economics. Following his undergraduate degree, he furthered his education at Oxford University, conducting research on long-run economic growth and existential risk at the Global Priorities Institute. Jesus, talk about a show-off. Okay, so he's a boy genius, but what does he know about AI? Well, his professional journey took a significant turn when he joined none other than OpenAI, working on the Super Alignment team which focused on ensuring that AI systems act in accordance with human values. His work at OpenAI placed him at the heart of groundbreaking AI research and development, collaborating with some of the most foremost thinkers in the field. Aschenbrenner was actually fired from OpenAI after sharing research with outsiders, and after his tenure there, he transitioned into the investment sector by founding an investment firm focused on artificial general intelligence, or AGI. And unlike narrow AI, which is designed to perform specific tasks, AGI refers to highly autonomous systems that can outperform humans at most economically valuable work. His firm has received anchor investments from notable figures such as the Collinson brothers, Nat Friedman, and Daniel Gross. His move into finance was driven by his vision to strategically support the development and alignment of these advanced AI technologies. But does this mean that he's just saying all of these things in order to raise more money for his fund? Not necessarily. And now that we've established that this dude isn't just some random guy on a podcast, let's figure out what he thinks the future holds in store for humanity. In his manifesto, Situational Awareness, Oshenbrenner outlines four truly eye-popping predictions. And I'll take you through them one by one. To start us off strong, he predicts that by 2027, AI systems will surpass human intelligence. And this isn't just some futuristic fantasy, it's actually a trajectory that's supported by the exponential growth in AI capabilities that we've seen over the past few years. For example, the leap from GPT-2 to GPT-4 has been nothing short of revolutionary. GPT-2 could generate coherent sentences, but it struggled with complex tasks. But fast forward to GPT-4 and we can see AI writing sophisticated code, solving difficult math problems, and even acing high school exams. This leap is akin to going from a preschooler's understanding to that of a smart high schooler in absolutely no time at all. The scary part is that Aschenbrenner argues that this trend will continue, pushing AI beyond human-level intelligence in various domains. This explosive growth is driven by the increase in computational power, continuous algorithmic advances, and the vast amounts of data available to train these AI systems. Companies are investing billions and soon trillions in building massive compute clusters and sophisticated models. And the availability of data from the internet, IoT devices, and digital repositories like Reddit means that AI can learn and adapt faster than ever. Okay, so what? What does it mean that AI will surpass human intelligence? Well, Aschenbrenner envisions a future where AI not only automates tasks, but it drives innovation itself at an unprecedented pace. Imagine AI itself actually doing research, working around the clock, developing new technologies, medicines, and scientific theories faster than humanly possible. AI could make better decisions in complex environments like healthcare, finance, and environmental management, analyzing vast amounts of data to predict outcomes with high accuracy. Even creativity itself could be redefined, with AI producing art, music, literature, and designs that push the boundaries of human imagination. So does this mean that the prediction that AI is coming from my job is actually true? Well, yes. Many jobs that require a high amount of cognitive abilities might be automated, leading to significant shifts in the job market. 
and we can see glimpses of this future already today. In healthcare, AI systems like IBM Watson diagnose diseases and recommends treatment, identifying patterns that human doctors might miss. In finance, AI-driven trading algorithms outperform human traders, analyzing market trends and executing trades at lightning speeds. In scientific research, AI is predicting protein folding, a problem that has stumped scientists for decades, accelerating discoveries in biology and medicine. These are some pretty massive changes. So how is all of this supposed to happen so fast? Oshenbrenner also predicts a massive industrial mobilization to support these rapid AI advancements. This mobilization is unprecedented in scale and scope, reminiscent of the industrial efforts seen during major historical events like World War II, but focused on building the infrastructure necessary for advanced AI. By the end of the decade, trillions of dollars with a T will be invested in AI infrastructure, including the development of compute clusters, power grids, and data centers. Companies and governments are gearing up to support this surge in AI capabilities, recognizing the strategic and economic advantages that it could bring. Think about the scale of compute clusters growing exponentially, from $10 billion clusters to $100 billion clusters, and eventually the trillion dollar cluster. These clusters will house millions of GPUs, providing the computational power needed to train and run advanced AI models. Technological advancements in AI chips like GPUs will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. According to Aschenbrenner, the construction and operations of these new compute clusters, power plants and data centers will create millions of jobs spanning sectors from construction and engineering to data science and cybersecurity. And the demand for advanced infrastructure will spur innovation across multiple industries, leading to breakthroughs that could have applications way beyond AI. And countries that invest heavily in AI infrastructure will gain a significant competitive edge, potentially shifting global economic power. This means that national security is a significant concern in the race for AI supremacy. Securing AI infrastructure against potential attacks and espionage is paramount. But why? Is the world really that dark? And is this technology so important that we should put armed guards outside of data centers? Oshenbrenner believes that the race to achieve AGI is not just about technological supremacy, it's about geopolitical dominance. And he warns that if China wins this race, it could spell the end of democracy as we know it. The stakes are really high. AGI could revolutionize industries, transform economies, and redefine the global power structures. And the nation that first achieves AGI will have a significant competitive edge, potentially dominating global markets and gaining unprecedented strategic leverage. In the United States, the government collaborates with leading tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI investing heavily in AI research and development. This has led to many strategic initiatives aimed at accelerating AI research, enhancing education and workforce development, as well as promoting international collaboration. The US sees AGI as crucial to maintaining its global leadership and technological superiority. The Chinese, on the other hand, have made AI a national priority, with ambitious plans outlined in their Next Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan. My god, try to find a more political name. Chinese tech giants such as Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent are pouring billions into AI research. And China aims to be the world leader in AI by 2030. And as Aschenbrenner puts it, we need to stay ahead of the curve of how AGI-pilled the CCP is. If the US falls behind, it won't just be about economic espionage. It could mean facing the full force of state-level espionage from an authoritarian regime. This race isn't just about who gets there first. It's about securing the future of global democracy. But uh, hold on a minute, what's the uh, EU's role in all of this? Well, you guessed it, it's regulation with the AI Act. Thanks for nothing. So let's say we achieve AGI, what's next? Oshenbrenner predicts a rapid transition from artificial general intelligence to what he calls super intelligence. And this leap represents a pivotal moment in the development of AI where the machines not only match, but vastly exceeds human intelligence across all domains. Superintelligence refers to AI systems that surpass the cognitive abilities of the best human brains in every field, including scientific creativity, general wisdom, and even social skills. Once we achieve AGI, the leap to superintelligence could be swift, driven by the AI's ability to improve itself far beyond human capabilities. He also highlights the concept of an intelligence explosion, which is a term popularized by the mathematician I.J. Good. Once an AGI system is capable of self-improvement, it could recursively enhance its own intelligence, leading to exponential growth in its capabilities. Think of it as an algorithm that can optimize itself, design better hardware, and run countless experiments in parallel. 
This means that if we were to transition into superintelligence, it would have far-reaching implications for society, technology and the future of humanity. For example, we would probably discover new treatments and cures for diseases, optimizing personalized medicine and improving diagnostic accuracy. Heck, we might even solve climate change. All in all, Aschenbrenner paints a compelling and bold vision for the future of AI. And his predictions highlight both the incredible opportunities and the profound challenges we face as we navigate this new technological frontier. However, it's important to consider some of the counterpoints and perspectives that are different from his vision. First, let's talk about the technological hurdles. First of all, building a lot of data centers with millions of GPUs in them is not an easy feat. Nvidia, for example, shipped 3.5 million data center GPUs in all of last year. And as of right now, they're the only supplier. So if you want a data center with millions upon millions of GPUs, you're gonna have to get in line because these things take a long time to produce. Additionally, the rapid pace of AI advancements assumes that there is a continual exponential growth in computational power and algorithmic breakthroughs. And the algorithms that we're using now were actually made in like 2017 and even earlier. Some critics caution that there might be physical, economic or theoretical limits to this growth that could slow or halt the progress. We also need to consider the economic and political implications of AGI. The rapid automation of jobs could lead to significant economic disruption. And while new jobs may emerge, there is concern about whether the workforce can adapt quickly enough to these changes. Furthermore, the race for AGI could further exacerbate geopolitical tensions, leading to conflicts over technology and resources. And we're kind of seeing this right before our eyes now, because the US and China are almost locked in a trade war just because of Nvidia GPUs and semiconductor equipment. Finally, let's not forget the human-centric perspective, because if everything is going to be done by AI, for example curing cancer, what are we gonna do? Leopold Aschenbrenner's predictions about the future of AI are exciting and a little bit scary, because they challenge us to think critically about the role of AI in society and the steps we need to take to harness its potential responsibly. And as we move towards the future, it's essential to balance optimism with caution and ensure that we address technological, ethical and societal challenges that come with these advancements. The path to AGI presents unprecedented opportunities, but it also demands unprecedented responsibility. And if you want to watch a video about a company that doesn't necessarily act all that responsibly or ethically for that matter, take a look at this video about Temu.